hope we're all doing well today uh, another live video today for the channel paul here from word on watches and um just wanted to talk about some uh two particular wristwatches that look more expensive than they actually are uh now some people really do not care about this issue um what i mean by that is how a watch looks uh, if it looks expensive or not is is not a deal breaker uh, they they just prefer whether they like the look of it full stop does that make sense um so probably won't get a lot of views on this but um other people they might not admit it they might not own up to it but they might prefer the look of something that does look more expensive and, and kind of kind of more prestige now these two watches that i've got here today i'm going to be wearing one of them um why don't you choose which one i will go off the public vote while this is a live video so you pick so you're either going to type in seiko or you're going to type in seiko uh, that's not very helpful, is it? The both Seikos that I've got here, I've just realised that. You've got to either type in Paddy, P-A-D-I, as a comment, or you're going to type in Pressage as a comment, because that's the other watch. Let's start off with the Seiko Pressage. Here it is. This is on the... This is actually on an aftermarket strap. So, um, but it's the Cocktail... It's from the cocktail range of Seiko Pressage watches. And this is the Margarita. Um, so it's got this lovely gold case with, look at that champagne dial there, sunburst dial. Uh, hello. Um, sorry, who are we? Hello, Bob from Brisbane. How's the weather in Brisbane? Presuming that you are indeed in Brisbane. I um, hope things are going well over in Brisbane, Bob. Um, so, yeah, this, um, as I'm saying, this is the Seiko Pressage. It's got this wonderful cocktail um, kind of champagne. Uh, I don't know. Oh, are we hopefully back on. Hopefully back on. Uh, Brisbane's great, apparently, enjoying the cooler days. Well, it's funny you say that, Bob, because over here in the UK, um, it's fair to say we've had a little bit of kind of a mini kind of summer, uh, quite early for us this year. Um, we've had good weather. Um, we've had nearly, well, three, four weeks worth of really good weather, especially in the north of the country, which is where I'm from. So um, it's been really good. Uh, hopefully everybody can see this video. Um, we have had a, a couple of connection issues. Hopefully got those sorted now. Maybe I should do a review on broadband. And I'm true because I can just see that I'm uh, kind of getting some kind of reflection. There we go. Let's try there. No. There, there, that's better. So, as I say, this is the Seiko Pressage. It's the uh, part of the cocktail edition. So, they, I think they did about 12 of these watches. Um, and uh, this watch has got this lovely um, <clears throat> champagne dial, which has got a beautiful sunburst effect uh, on there. Now, interestingly enough, the sunburst effect um, has actually got 60 points to it so the radial kind of design of the the spokes if you like that come out of the center of the watch to the edge from the center of the dial to the edge the 60 so they they represent the minutes in the hour which is a nice little touch uh and this is a wonderful watch look at that it's got a, a domed glass uh it's a it's a mineral glass it's hard lex it's um Seiko's kind of proprietary uh, uh, glass on there. And it's it's not plastic. It's not plexiglass or anything like that. It is actually a, a, mineral, um, a mineral glass on this. And it does look wonderful. Uh, the hands are, they are 
um, the hands and the indices are black so they really do stand out from the dial as well uh, and it's a very very striking design watch this is obviously towards the more dressy end of your wristwatch collection as I say, it's on an aftermarket strap this but the strap that it comes with is kind of a pretend alligator crocodile style strap this is a, a lighter Hirsch strap which just happens to perfectly fit as well so it not only fits the watch but it also fix the, it fits the buckle which um, again for this price point very surprising it's got a, a deployment clasp um, so that's a really nice touch um, thanks yeah I think the strap really does make the watch to be fair to you the strap is uh, a, a massively important part of what what makes a watch the white stitching on on this particular strap um, just kind of accentuates some of the dial maybe some of that champagne white dial um, and it is a very very nice looking watch indeed so this is the Seiko Pressage as I say these are current so if you're interested in picking one of these up um, then all you need to type in is Seiko Pressage Cocktail and you can see the entire collection there there's some uh, great watches as well uh, it's, it's reviewed on the channel as well if you're interested look take a look back through the videos back on word on watches you'll see that i have done a more in-depth review as well pretty hard to see but it has got an exhibition case back there's um not much to look at to be honest it's kind of a cheap and cheerful circle movement in there but it keeps great time and is a particularly nice watch as well so very happy with that this is the Seiko Pressage Cocktail, the Margarita variant. There's uh, other variants as well. There's a lovely, I presume, it's a, um, I can't remember the one, Espresso Martini. I, I, it looks like it could be an Espresso Martini. Anyway, it's got like, again, this uh, kind of sunburst dial, but in a chocolate brown, dark brown colour. And the golds and the browns accentuate each other really well on that watch too. So that is wristwatch number one. As I say, it looks a lot more expensive than it is. Um, don't forget, folks, you get to choose which one I wear today. I bet you can't wait. The second is also a Seiko. Uh, this is the Seiko Paddy Turtle. So this is from the Dive Watch series from Seiko again this is a very very popular watch believe it or not as well it's quite popular with watch modders this so um the the people out there who actually modify the watches they take them to bits replace certain parts uh and kind of mod them uh this watch is very popular with modders for that um i if i was modding this watch i would give it a domed sapphire so at, at the minute you can see it's a flat mineral glass on this watch i'd change that and i'd also change the appearance of the bezel which is too uh polished because uh, it, it's it doesn't match the case if that makes sense the the bezel is shinier than the case or it's more reflective or it just doesn't quite work and to be honest it's a little bit naff on the turn it's all right don't get me wrong it's not like it's not like um rubbish but just compared to obviously watches that you pay a lot more money for there's a marked difference between these two watches but what you cannot argue with you cannot argue with the style of this wristwatch. Take a look at it. This is one of those wristwatches that just says, uh, you know, I've been around. Uh, I've got a reputation. This wristwatch has certainly got a design kind of um, reputation. It's got that turtle style case, 
which is uh, kind of 1960s uh, in origin. It's got the crown at the four o'clock position as well. Um, it's got this kind of Pepsi bezel. So this kind of blue and red on the bezel. Um, and it's a unidirectional bezel. This is a good looking watch and this is a very, very good summer watch as well. This looks good in summer. So maybe in light of what we're saying about the weather being quite relatively nice here in the UK for the last three weeks, maybe I should be putting the Seiko Paddy on today. But this, um, this watch is not as expensive as you may first think. And it is actually a special edition watch as well, this one. It's not limited, it is special. Again, full details, full review on the Word on Watches channel here on YouTube. So you can cycle back through and uh, get, get more. But what is it with Seiko on the dials? Look at that dial again. So really nice dial, deep blue, looks pretty good, very eye-catching, especially when it catches the sun in certain angles. There's a lot going for this watch. So this is the Seiko Paddy Turtle, and it does look particularly uh, good on the wrist as well. I'm going to actually put the watch on so that you can see what it looks like. So bear with me because I'm doing this handheld. I thought while I was doing it as a live video, uh, I might actually um, kind of just not set things up the way that I normally would. Um, I want them to be a little bit different, these live videos. So this is um, on the wrist then. <clears throat> nice shot of the palm of my hand there. Um, this is what it looks like on. I've got medium sized wrists. So um, as you can see, it does look pretty good. Um, <clears throat> it is a, a, a nice watch, is the Seiko Paddy Turtle. Uh, I've worn it an awful lot. It's a watch that I keep coming back to. So I've got quite a few watches in my collection. Some are kind of the go-to watches, if you like, watches that I wear on a very regular basis. Just watches that you you kind of grow to, to love and to enjoy wearing, um, I suppose. The Seiko Paddy Turtle is not far off that category of watch. I've recently as well, I've put it back on this... Um, kind of bog standard OEM bracelet. Now the bracelet's very good, but the buckle, gosh, it's cheap. It's horrendous, tinny, pressed, thin metal, awful, tat. And I, if it was me, if I was making this watch, then um, if I was if I was making this watch and it was my reputation on and I was making a watch that harkened back to the 1960s, then I'd be really keen not to put a pressed, thin, tin buckle on there. Uh, I really would. It's the let down, the only thing that when you get it out of the box, you think, oh, you know what? This is not a bad looking watch. This is a good watch. Um... And then you see the buckle there, and it's a bit of a shame. So, Bob, I think you your vote has been duly cast for the um, Seiko Paddy Special Edition uh, with that great sunburst blue dial. Uh, it's got the super... It's, I don't know if it is super luminor, I'm saying super luminor. It's got decent lume on it. It's got a loomed pip at 12 o'clock as well. It's got that Pepsi bezel, Pepsi style bezel. Um, good choice, Bob. Um, you're winning. You'd be pleased to hear your vote is, uh, is so far the deciding vote. I will do some uh, shots of this on the wrist today as well. Should it win? Should it win? Uh, I'll do some shots of it and I'll put it on the Instagram page. So word on watches, all one word. Word on watches on Instagram then uh, you can see this go through the day with me on my travels. Today I'm off to Leeds. 
So uh, again, in the um, the north of the United Kingdom, off to hopefully sunny Leeds today. So I'll do some um, screenies and some selfies with the watch uh, throughout the day. So far, Bob, you are in the lead. So it's looking like it is going to be the Paddy Turtle that accompanies me for today's trip. However, that could change because I have actually got two viewers, not just one. So we could be going for a tie here, Bob. Uh, let's see what happens. The other person's being very careful. What we're doing, if you've tuned in a little bit late and you are my other viewer, we're just taking a vote on which which watch I should wear today. I've got two watches. Both of them are affordable watches. And the watches that have both featured on Hodinky as well. So both of the... Um, Paddy Turtles featured quite a number of times, to be honest. But even this special edition variant and the Seiko Pressage have featured on Hodinkee. So, um, you know, the folks over at Hodinkee, Ben Clymer and the team, they, they don't kind of um, put rubbish watches on. The only problem is with Hodinkee is everything's like millions of dollars. Apart from these... So apologies for shaker vision as I'm just putting this watch on. As I say, it is this is on an aftermarket strap. It's a Hirsch strap. Um, so it isn't the original strap that came with the watch. The original strap that comes with the watch is a, a crocodile alligator style leather. It's quite thin, but again, the, we're talking at this price point. Uh, it looks very good indeed. Uh, and just to say it once more, even though I don't like the tinny uh, kind of buckle on this strap, we're talking about watches at a certain price point here. And for the price, you know what? You've got to let some things go. Uh, but please, Seiko, if you ever watch this video, sort that out. Get a decent buckle on, you, you, you know, especially on one of your watches that is... Uh, got the heritage that the Paddy series, the, the Turtle series of watches uh, have got. So this is the cocktail. It's the Seiko Pressage. Slightly more formal, isn't it? Um, this is um, what it looks like on the wrist today. It's a nice looking watch though. Maybe Bob might change his mind seeing this. Who knows? So far... This watch is not being worn today. So far, this is not going on the wrist. But there's no... We can have a decisive vote on this. Should we be wearing... There's no, we've had a jump up to six viewers now. So, should we be wearing the Paddy Turtle? Or should we be wearing the Pressage? The Seiko Pressage. This is the Margarita variant of the cocktail uh, Seiko cocktail Pressage variation of watches. Um, as I've just mentioned, both of these watches have featured on Hodinkee on the website. Um, and you really, if you're interested in your wristwatches out there, then you don't have to be spending lots and lots of money to get some wristwatches with some real kind of heritage to them in the case of the Seiko. This obviously uh, harkens back to a, a watch that was uh, popular in the 1960s um, and, you know, still more than a passing resemblance to that watch as well. Um, so y you don't have to be dropping big bucks. You really don't. Uh, and I can't stress that enough, really. A lot of people think that watch collecting is a very expensive hobby. You know, you only can buy Rolex or, you know, insert name of luxury brand here. Um, and, and that is not the case. If you're buying wristwatches that you're going to wear and enjoy, then um, that is what this hobby is about. And as I say, this, this watch, there's a lot of people out there who mod the Seiko Paddy 
turtle and, and some of the Seiko dive watches, they take them to bits and replace bits like the um, crown or the bezel, the rotating bezel, make it a stronger click on the rotating bezel, which again would be nice. Maybe put a domed crystal on, which again would be nice. A bit of dome on there would look absolutely fantastic. And this can be done. Um, I'm not sure I'd want to butcher my watch to do it. And you end up paying far more than what the watch is actually worth. And then, of course, the resale value, um, you know, is, is slightly dubious. And, and if you're not careful, then you probably want, wouldn't want to take a, this watch underwater. Um, but there are people out there who mod these watches. Um, and uh, some of them do look amazing, it's got to be said. Whether I'd do it myself, I don't know. But uh, they do look amazing. This watch, very, very affordable, about um, £300 here in the UK for one of these. Shop around, you can get a second-hand one for less. Uh, very, very affordable uh, wristwatch compared to, you know, your £3,000 for um, other watches. Um, and take a look at some of the Orises. In fact, I'm going to go and get an Oris in a minute. Because if you shop around, you get an Oris, which is a real, real nice watch. And it looks um, amazing. The price is right as well. It's not that expensive. So the Oris Diver 65, that you shop around, you can get it for a really good price. And I know Goldsmiths here in uh, England, in the UK, Goldsmiths recently had a special offer on and that is, in fact, the reason why I picked up one of the Oris 65s. I'll, I'll go and get that in a minute. So far, Bob's vote is the only vote as to which wristwatch I should be wearing today. Bob has voted for the Paddy Turtle. So, so far, this wristwatch is the one that's going on. That said, that could all change if uh, people out there want to cast a vote. Uh, I'm just going to uh, pick up the um, Oris. So, <clears throat> I've shown you two watches so far. I'm, I'm pushing this out because this is right at the end now of kind of the more affordable kind of range of wristwatches. This is right on the limit. Most people who who aren't necessarily watch collectors per se would probably not plump for a watch as expensive as the Oris Diver 65. Uh, but if you get it on a good deal, then here in the UK, you can pay under a £1,000 for it, about £900. And I don't mean 999 I mean 900 or 950 um, and all of a sudden, this watch becomes incredibly collectible at that kind of price. Um, you know, here in the UK, at least for one of these, you know, retail, normally you're looking around thirteen, fourteen hundred pounds. So for goldsmiths to suddenly sell them for nine fifty was a bit of uh, a special occasion. But this is the. Oris Divers 65. Again, folks, these are reviewed on the channel in detail, so I don't want to repeat myself too much here as to um, the, the features and my thoughts on these watches. Today, I'm just trying to do a bit of a live YouTube live video on um, these wristwatches that allow you to get into this wonderful hobby without breaking the bank, and you can still have a wristwatch that any responsible and knowledgeable collector is going to appreciate. All of these watches that you're looking at today, they've got uh, some pedigree to them. They've got a um, a kind of a uh, some kudos attached to them, which a lot of watches out there don't have. And if you're looking at getting a watch, why not get one? That, that, you know, has got a bit of uh, pedigree behind it. Why not? Um, and as I say, apart from this one here, apart from this Oris, 
The other two watches, very, very collectible and very affordable as well. Certainly compared to the thousands and thousands that uh, some watches would cost, even second hand. So this is the RS65, Divers 65, based on the 1965 issue of, of this watch. It uses a Solita SW200 movement, which is the equivalent of the ETA 2824. I think it is 2824. Um, so the Solita SW200 movement has got about a 30 eight hour power reserve on this. It's an automatic watch. Uh, it doesn't have an exhibition case back. It's just got a standard case back. But this watch, um, very, very uh, highly regarded. Uh, again, it's featured on her dinky. So um, any of these watches, you can type them in on her dinky. Um, you can get all the details and, and kind of get a different insight into this. This is the strap. This is as provided. It's got a soft leather back, but then this distressed kind of roughed up leather front. It looks really good. It's got the green dial, this. And uh, yes, I did bob this. Uh, Oris was indeed from brand new. Uh, from a chain of jewelers here in the UK called Goldsmiths. And um, Goldsmiths had this on offer for over five, uh, well, I say over 500, about 500 pounds cheaper than anywhere else. There's a jeweler across the road from where I bought it. They had it in the shop window. It's 500 pounds more expensive than at Goldsmiths. That offer lasted for about a week or two. And then, um, uh, yes, it was, it was a very, very good price. I wasn't actually in the market for one of these. I was looking at saving up for something else. And then I saw this at this price and I was like, you know what? There's, it's a pretty good time to buy the Oris. Uh, now, Oris make fantastic wristwatches. You, you probably don't need me to tell you that. They make some absolute stunners. But Oris on social media are fantastic as well because obviously doing my watch channel here, Word on Watches, um, I've also got an Instagram, Word on Watches, and I've got a Twitter, Word on Watches. Uh, when I've posted stuff with this watch, and I'm always careful to name check the companies that actually make the products that that um, that I'm kind of wearing in this. Uh, uh, and Oris, every time I've done it, they've retweeted it, reshared it, uh, commented, liked it. Um, and it's really nice. I don't know whether that's the case for everybody who posts. I, I really couldn't tell you. But what I can tell you is that uh, the Oris 65 review that's on this very channel, uh, a couple of videos back now, but when I did a, an in-depth review of this wristwatch, Oris shared it. They actually um, shared that video on some of their social media channels. So... Thanks very much to Oris for doing that because obviously I do enjoy making the videos because I love the hobby. But nonetheless, it's nice that um, some of them get featured and, and get recognised, if you like. So that's the Oris 65, right at the end of the affordability scale, really. If we're being honest, we can't really call that a cheap watch, can we? It's certainly not cheap when you compare it to the Seiko Cocktail Pressage. This you could get um, three and a half of these compared to one of those. And that's at a discount price as well. So um, these are a, a couple of hundred pounds. Um, whereas that is pushing, as I mentioned before, pushing a thousand. But actually should be pushing more like fourteen hundred. And then the other watch, which is the one with the only vote at the minute to be worn. And I am going to close that very soon because I have got to go out. But this is the um, Seiko Paddy Turtle. It's the special edition variant. So the Paddy kind of affiliation to the, this particular uh, turtle is uh, what makes it a special edition. It's not limited. 
Um, it's just uh, classed as a special edition. This is definitely a summer watch. Definitely. Looks fantastic. All purpose. Go in the pool with it. Um, it's not going to stop working. Going to look pretty good. It wears well. Um, you know, if you've got a shirt on, this watch isn't going to cause too much um, problems when it comes to wearing your shirt. It's not the dressy of, dressiest of watches, obviously. It is a diver's watch. But it's just got so much style and um, that pedigree that, that I cannot keep going on about it. But it really is. You just need to do some Googling on the um, turtle, Seiko turtle watches. Uh, and you'll see that, you know, they, they look as good now as they did when they were first introduced in the 1960s. So I'm probably going to leave the video there. This is um, YouTube Live, this video. So there's been no thought or anything gone into it beyond that opening question of picking up some wristwatches that look more expensive than they actually are. You've seen three watches today. You've seen the Seiko Paddy Turtle. You've also seen the Seiko Pressage. This is the cocktail and this is called the Margarita. It's got the, the lovely uh, raised indices, black hands and black indices on that champagne white uh, sunburst dial with that nice gold case and a deployant as well. It's got a, it's not just a, a normal bracelet on the, um, it's, it's kind of posher than that. And then just at the end there, we did sneak in. If you want to splash some cash, you've got the Oris Divers 65, which is a bit of a cult classic. A lot of uh, respect for this particular watch out there in the community. As I mentioned before, all of the watches do feature on Hadinki. So if you want to read up more about them and just visit one website, then I'd probably have to recommend doing a, a search for these watches on Hadinki to find out more. And as promised, I did do ask for some import for a vote. The vote the voting has closed. Bob, you're uh, you're my only voter today. You, your vote has been carried and duly I'm taking off the Seiko Pressage. This is going for today. And I'm putting on the uh, Paddy Turtle. And I will do some um, pictures on the Instagram. So um, go, and check out, go and check out a word on watches on Instagram. Woohoo! Woohoo indeed, Bob. Woohoo! There you go. You've influenced... Somebody's watch wearing habits the other side of the world today. The wonders of modern technology. But there it is. It's on the wrist. Uh, it does look good. T to be honest, I'm probably going to change this shirt. But uh, it is a, such a good looking watch. And and I've got to say, I did have it on a, a strap. But I've took the strap off and I've put it back on the bracelet. The factory supply bracelet from Seiko. Um, and it really does look the business. This is, um, you know, it's going to look good on the wrist today, isn't it? Let's face it. So there we go. That's probably a good place to leave the video for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got comments or suggestions, um, as I said, these watches are reviewed on the channel in detail. So flip back through, you can see videos, reviews for all of the watches that I've shown you today. Uh, and, and many more besides um, and I will be back soon with more video content for the channel but please do uh, like rate and subscribe and all the rest um, because obviously it does help me out um, with, especially with uh, the knowledge that I'm not just sat in a room talking to myself on a mobile phone which I do far too much of for my line of work anyway but there we go Thank you for your time today. I do appreciate it and I'll see you soon.